Welcome back to another edition of Check 6 Aviation. This is some footage that I had thought I had lost. My name's Raymond, and always, and here we go, we're getting set up. Now, this is just before we had left for Oshkosh and uh, had given that quick update. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a, I'll put a link to it in the top right corner and you'll be able to go and check that out after you're done watching this. This is just gonna be a very short one. We've got so the walls put you know, temporarily braced up, but I have yet to put on what's called the top and bottom plate. Now, those are just basically you know, long pieces of lumber, two by four, that span the entire length of the wall. Actually, I've got it thick, you know, rigged so that they are a little bit longer than each of the longer walls uh, because then that will give me something to lock into place the front and back walls. So uh, it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, like a really big jigsaw puzzle that I've concocted in my mind. This is absolutely being done without any plans. Yes, because I was inverted, but uh, the this is just all upstairs. And also using some knowledge that I gained working with my father when I was younger. So here we are, we are actually figuring out that, hey, listen, um, my wife was actually right about something else that I needed to uh, basically trim yeah, some uh, some of the boards yeah, for the top and bottom plate. This is the bottom plate that I'm working on right now and I'm making the top plate the same length for the wall that is by our next door neighbor. Uh, they are in position the way that I want them with the California corners on each side and there we go, lowering that down into place to check the fit. I decide that I actually don't really need to cut anything off of that one, that it is fine, and I will use that one for the bottom plate. The bottom plate just it just rests, you know, it, it's what the wall rests on, and I'll use that to kind of interlock the front and back walls into it, the, the, the side walls. Now, um, like I said, this is just going to be a very short video. Uh, I, I'm surprised that I even have this. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into this. Now what's coming up is I've got the w entire thing sheathed. I'll, that's coming up in another video that I'm putting together. But right now, the Vans tail kit is actually almost completed with crating and could be here the first week of November. So I've got a really hustle on getting this thing done, the, this workshop done, and yeah, get the other videos take, yeah, taken care of. I, that's what I'm going to be working on this week. It still needs a roof. I'm going to be working on that this week. And I've got a friend of mine who is an electrician coming over over the weekend to kind of lay out what I need for electricity into, the, into, uh, into this structure as far as wattage and um, actually not, not, not wattage but uh, amperage yeah because I don't want to overload things and so we're gonna have to dig a ditch into the main electrical box uh, from the from the airplane factory version 1.0 here and yeah tie everything into power but before I do that I'm going to be working on getting the roof joists fabricated and installed and then getting the sheathing on the roof and just shingling away. And then after that, I've got the doors to fabricate and the window to install there because like I said, it's Texas. It does get hot in the summer as the light is fading right now in the video. It's kind of later in the day. But uh, thankfully, this is in the first parts of fall right now so it's it's not very hot outside I mean it gets cold at night here and we are um, we're basically in warm weather compared to the northern states so um, with all everything that's going on in California right now that is a really big help for me financially because 
you know, that is providing a lot of the money that I need for the airplane. Uh, light's getting dim, so we're going we're wrapping things up here as we see here, getting the, you know, still working on those top and bottom plates, kind of letting them overhang uh, by the, the width of a 2x4 on each side, and that will be the interlocking feature for the walls. I don't know if this is the way it's actually done in modern construction. Uh, leave a comment down below if you know whether uh, this is the way it's done with the walls or if there's some other way. This is the way I'm doing it, and that's okay. Um, but uh, here we are. We're, we're going to wrap this thing up. Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, and by all means, check out our other is our other social media pages like our Instagram we'll go ahead and post things there and but also to support the channel other than the likes and subscribes visit our patreon page we really appreciate you uh, supporting us and watching our videos it does help the YouTube algorithm tell us tell the YouTube that this bit content needs to be shared until next time remember this time and always Check your sex.